Caprice, you were talking about uh, children, babies, and uh, and stuff like that, and when they should go to a dentist and what moms should be doing. Um, you know, what about once the child is, you know, whatever, four, five, six years old and stuff like that? Uh, what about sealants? Is, is sealants really something which helps the child, and what does it help with? How long does it last? Um, uh, uh, tell us about it. The uh, the back teeth, the back molars, both baby teeth and permanent teeth, have a lot on the chewing surface, have oftentimes some deep grooves and pits and fissures. And it's hard for the toothbrush bristles to get in those areas and clean the food out. And so consequently, uh, that's the area that starts to decay first. And a sealant is basically a, a resin. I kind of liken it to f like putting fingernail polish uh, to seal up those uh, rough, deep pits and fissures, uh, like deep canyons in the tops of the teeth. And if a if sealant is applied properly, uh, if the tooth is kept dry and the tooth cleaned properly first, the sealant can stay on for many, many years. Uh, if a sealant comes off quickly, it's usually because it's gotten wet while it's been bonded. It's got contaminated. So... Uh, then it needs to be redone. But if a sealant is put on properly, it can stay for many years and protect the tooth from having that food packed into those grooves. I see. And is a sealant, um, so sealant is a good thing to have on for children or, or yeah? Yes, it is. It is. And uh, most people will have the sealants uh, applied to their children's teeth, their permanent teeth. And uh, many insurance companies will help out with that cost. However, I think it's well worth uh, if a child's baby teeth have deep grooves to also uh, have the sealant put on the baby teeth, uh, even if the person has to pay for it out of their pocket, even if it's not a covered benefit from their insurance company, because if you can keep those baby teeth from getting cavities, that uh, stops a whole chain of bad events happening as time goes on. Right, and the visits to the dentist, number one, fixing the baby teeth, then, and, you know, that in itself, again, it costs money, time, and, uh, mm -hmm. and again, you know, you don't want to have the child having bad experiences um, right off the bat, which, once you're small, they stay with you much longer. Just learning a language as a small ch child, it stays with you, well, forever and comes natural, versus trying to learn a language when you're 40 is, is, is more difficult. So, if a baby, exactly. uh, you know, if a kid has a good experience with a dentist, first few years, he might just still then go with less apprehension to a dentist as he's an adult, right? Exactly. That's exactly true. Yeah. Well, well, good right. point. And what about, what about adults and sealants? Um, no, not anymore. Um, you know, once you're like well, say, you 20, know, it, 30 uh, or whatever. A sealant can work at any age. And if, a, if an adult tends to... Uh, have deep grooves that are hard to take care of, then I think that it would be indicated to put a sealant in a, an adult tooth also. Some, some back molars don't have very deep grooves, and so they don't need sealants. But if a tooth has deep grooves, even as an adult, I think uh, it would be wise to do that, a good preventive measure. I see. So it's basically it depends on how the tooth is shaped, uh, and if it has, uh, we know that it is, you know, kind of going well, whichever way it goes uh, on the surface. So if those uh, grooves are very deep, then what you're saying it's difficult to take care of it, and thus cavities can be created, and thus uh, a sealant would probably be advantageous. Yes, I every, um, almost all the time I see adults in middle age and later that we're, we're doing a filling on a, a biting surface of a tooth. So it would have been helpful to have a sealant on in those situations. Okay. Well, all right. Well, here we have it about sealants. Thanks a lot, Dr. Priest.